What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about dysphoria. So one definition of just dysphoria is a state of unease or generalized dissatisfaction with life. And then a longer um, definition of dysphoria a profound state of unease or dissatisfaction in a psychiatric context, dysphoria may accompany depression, anxiety, or agitation. It can also refer to a state of not being comfortable in one's current body, particularly in cases of gender dysphoria. Common reactions to dysphoria include distress or indifference. The opposite state of mind is known as euphoria. So there are your definitions. So, as a trans guy in particular, there are things that you get dysphoric about and things that you have dysphoria about. Sometimes it's everything, sometimes it's some things. It's all different and everybody is different. So you can be dysphoric about anything and this also includes like body dysmorphia, which is basically kind of the definition I just told you except more focused on physical aspects like your body, everything, because body dysmorphia. And that's just being unsatisfied with your body. How many times can I say that definition? <laughs> Drink every time I do. You can be dysphoric about your voice, about your height, about, you know, your top dysphoria, bottom dysphoria, all kinds of different dysphorias. So sometimes it's internal, sometimes it's external. A few things besides body image that can make a person dysphoric, particularly a trans guy, one would be outing them without their consent or their permission or their knowledge or anything like that. If you out somebody, you're not only putting them in danger, of you know any type of situation going down but you also didn't have their consent to tell anybody so I mean that's kind of not cool so that can make for an uncomfortable situation for the trans guy if you out him because then you know you don't know other people's responses or whatnot and then having to deal with that and their reactions and it's just like I said you can put somebody in danger and also make them feel super uncomfortable which isn't cool so What's wrong with you? I talked about body image, I talked about outing, and the last thing I want to talk about, or like hit on just really quick, is sex. A lot of trans guys, and well, well a lot of people, but trans guys in particular, because this is FTM 101, <laughs> feel dysphoric about sex, during sex, after, you know, etc, etc, can anytime regarding to sex, because you're in a very vulnerable state when you sleep with somebody, and especially as a trans person, depending on how you sleep with people and what you do and etc cetera, etc cetera, it can put you in a very vulnerable state so it can make people really uncomfortable you know some people have boundaries some people don't for the people who have boundaries you know maybe stick to those boundaries and don't cross the line because you don't know if you would make them uncomfortable or this or that and whenever you're with like a trans guy and he has you know like a dysphoric episode in regards to sex or anything like that, um, maybe you should stop and just like chill for a minute and let him, you know, get it together and not kind of, you know, taunt him for stopping. I honestly haven't really been this work about sex in a really long time, but also I haven't had sex in a really long time, so <laughs> that's not relevant, but I thought I should tell you. I just needed to, sh I needed to get it off my chest, you know? I really don't know what else to say about dysphoria except that it sucks and if you found a good way for you, you know, to handle it and solve it, why don't you leave a comment down below about what you do or what you think would work, etc, etc. I haven't really found any answers to that either, but I mean, there are things in here. Sometimes working out helps, sometimes just like walking straighter makes me feel better, like when I wear my boots because I get like this much height. I have really small feet, so like bigger shoes make me feel better about all that. Deepening your voice, if your voice makes it, you know, like there's so many different things that you do, your clothes, everything. And uh, we can talk about that later on in regards to like passing tips and, you know, dysphoria tips and whatnot. But that's all I wanted to say right now, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. All my social media is down below if you want to get in contact with me or message me or ask me questions or anything like that. I think that's all I gotta say today, so thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.